you're good, bro. You're good. You're my intro. <laughs> week eight, day one. It's technically a deload week. It's not really deload. I'm actually going heavier than I have ever, or not ever, but in like 10 years. Two sets of three at 165 kg is the goal. All right. Here's a warm up set at 150. I'm just going to feel the weight for one rep. Come on, man. This is what a low bar, because I'm supposed to do low bar, so it's like you barely get to parallel. I'll hit two sets of three low bar heavy, and then I'm gonna hit 145 kg for 25 reps. All right, first work set, 165 kg. All right, three reps, goal. Is that better? That was my second set. That was a proper set. I feel like a bitch. I'm not gonna count that first set, so I'll hit one more set of three. Real set of three. All right, getting my right depth. Some days like that, but I will take that. That's a win, man. It's 165 kg for a set of three. I've been squatting heavier the past two weeks than I have in the past 10 years. It's fucking good. 11 knee surgeries, my knees are fucked. All right, probably should not be able to do this. First set was fucking bullshit. Low squats. I'm fucking get this man tight, focused. Yeah. One more, easy. This is where the real work begins. 140 kg, five kgs heavier than last week. I'm just hitting two sets. The goal is to accumulate 24, 20 to 25 reps. All right, no belt, high bar squat. I'm getting deep, I'm not squatting like fucking too high. Fifteen. Fuck, I'm out of breath. Last week I hit fifteen at 135. Today, first set, fifteen, 140. No belt, just me versus the weight. Motherfucker, out of breath. I'm gonna hit that for ten. Next set, 25 reps at 140, and that'll be more total volume and work than I've done in a single workout in a long time. Slowly ramping it up. Man, I'm so fucking lucky to be able to do this. There was that really strong looking woman behind me. This is the world's fittest woman. Laura Horvath, she's a fucking animal. 
insane. Just walked into the gym today. She's here because she's here for the Dubai CrossFit Championship. That competition. It's the third biggest competition in the world. Fitness competition. The same competition I won back in 2014. She's here competing at it this weekend. So. Walked into the gym and she's here. It's kind of cool. It's pretty cool to be surrounded by the world's best. You know, it's like very humbling. And I gotta fucking hit these squats. I'm super fucking happy. Another thing when you go into the gym, you should always just worry about yourself, focus on what you're what you're doing. Alright? Really nothing else matters. I'm gonna fucking stand up. I'm gonna hit this last set of squats. I'm gonna fucking crush it. As I already know, fucking Nordic curls. I didn't do these last week because I hadn't had this machine. Thank God I fucking bought a Nordic curl. Gotta go pick it up tomorrow. Bro, stand, stand right there. Stand on, stand on this side. Stand on that side. All right, cause this thing's a fucking piece of shit. Here we go. Okay, that feels good. Two. Six, two more. Seven. One more. Eight, nice. Okay, get off. Check out that shirt. Looks good on him, doesn't it? You wanna say hello? Second set, slow negative. Fuck, man, that's it. Go ahead, break that motherfucker, bro. Okay, y'all step off there. Ah, I'm not talking a lot on this vlog. I've been too fucking focused on my workout today. I feel so thankful. I fucking hit my squats. I'm supposed to do two sets of three at 165 or 365 pounds. I ended up hitting three sets of three because my first set was bullshit. Then I hit a set of 15 and a set of 10 for my high bar squats was more than I wanted. Fucking happy with that. And now I'm hitting these Nordic curls, three sets of eight with a three second negative. And I'll show you what I've been supersetting these Nordic curls with, actually. Because I've been hitting some some quads with my body weight. I'll show you what I'm doing. Just fucking get it, bro. I guarantee it's there. Big breath, big punch. Let's go. Come on. Strong. Let's go. Down and up, one time. Up, 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 up. Easy, man. All right, so between my sets of Nordic curls, I've been hitting knee over toe squats. Notice I'm standing on a slam board and I'm keeping all the weight on my toes and I'm literally just trying to get my knees over my toes as much as I can. This really targets your quads. So I try to keep my, my torso straight and I just bend at my knee as low as I can. Two. These are a lot harder than they look. As you're doing these, make sure you flex your glutes. Seven. And you'll feel a big kind of stretch. And you'll feel your quads working for sure. I know these look goofy as shit, but it's a great exercise for knee rehab. And also to target your quads when you don't have access to a leg extension machine. seconds every two minutes for five or six rounds 14 second echo bike sprint 
past two weeks has been 12 seconds. This week, adding two more. I'm gonna be fucked. You feel my quads like that? Should pull a bike, go with me. All right, go back to school. I'll stay here and work out. I got exams this week, so. Well, good luck with those. All right, week eight, day one. I didn't have time to vlog before my workout, so I know we just picked it up as I started, but uh, super happy. That was a really, really good workout today. Like, I've had eight solid consecutive weeks of training, and that's hard to do. I think a lot of people, most people can't even do that. They can't even stack up, you know, eight consecutive weeks of consistent, progressive training. Lucky to do that, happy I did. And I think I got one more week in and then I'll be traveling. So then my training will be a little bit less consistent, but I'll still follow the program. I'll stay as consistent as I can with my training is what I'm trying to say, but really good. This was, as I said, week eight. So it was the last week, the second four week block of this 12 week program. And uh, yeah, it was supposed to be two sets of three at 165 kg, which is like 365 pounds. But my first set was shit, it was too high. Like I know it was too high. So then I, I went ahead and hit two more sets of three and I got the right depth. Like, because I haven't squatted this heavy since basically 2014, I'm always very cautious uh, going down there, you know, especially with that much weight on my back with, with the knee injuries I've had, you know, and just the fact that I've been very prone to pulling muscles in the past, I squat cautiously and so this was a fourth week, so it's actually technically supposed to be a deload. It's weird because it's like a deload, but you go heavier, but you just do less volume. Even though today I did almost basically the same volume I have done the past four weeks, I ended up doing two sets of three, three sets of three at, at 165, and then I hit two back off sets, a set of 15 and a set of 10, so that's 25 reps total at 140 kg or 308 pounds of those. Those were high bar squats, no belt, just accumulating the reps and getting, you know, getting some work in on my legs. Cause I can feel my legs, they still need to get stronger, a lot stronger. And I think that's just because of with my knee surgeries and you know, some strength discrepancies between my legs that I'm still working through. But all in all, like I'm very pleased, very thankful. I got the reps and then I hit a set of 15 and a set of 10 quite easily, you know, at 308 pounds, no belt. And I haven't done that. Man, I don't even remember the last time I did that. And I could have hit 20 or probably 25 unbroken at 308 if I wanted to. I just broke it into two sets. And the program just said, you know, two sets of 10, but I always kind of deviate from the program a little bit based on how I'm feeling. And the week before I hit, 15 unbroken reps at 135 kg. And so today when I did it, I just hit 15 unbroken reps at 140 kg. 140 is 308 pounds. So got it, felt good. Then did my Nordic curls today. Those felt pretty strong. Still have a long way to uh, go on those. And uh, I superset those with some like knee over toe squats. I'm gonna keep doing those because I can just tell that my quads and my knees need it. They kind of hurt my, my left knee a little bit, the, the tendon, but it's a good, it's like a good pain. It's like a pain that you know you need to work through. So yeah, I got three sets of Nordic curls and three sets of knee over toe squats. And then I was, I accumulated quite a bit of fatigue, you know, on that workout, like with all that strength work. Rested probably 10 or 15 minutes and then I hit my conditioning piece, which is the same conditioning piece I've been hitting the past, I think five weeks with Echo Bike Sprints. Last week I hit every two minutes for 12 seconds, max effort 
sprint on the echo bike and then rest the remainder of the two minutes and I accumulated 81 calories. Today I was feeling pretty blown up and I said, fuck it, I'm just gonna do the best I can. And so I hit every two minutes, 14 seconds max effort sprint on the echo bike. And like after round three, I knew like it was gonna be really hard to even, you know, get close to my score last week. So even though I went for two seconds longer each set today, I only accumulated 82 calories on the bike. So only one calorie more than I did last week. And I did a total of 12 seconds more, you know, time sprinting on the bike. So that's actually, it's more calories, but it's really a worse score because of, you know, if you take up the time. But I just felt like, man, my legs were just done. I think after all the squats, you know, I was just tired. And those echo bike sprints, those are, those are brutal. Like they're seriously brutal. Good way to finish off my legs. Like I got a super nasty, uncomfortable pump. After that last set, I actually turned the camera off and then I just laid on the floor for probably a good two or three minutes, you know, letting the blood kind of get out of my legs. It was tough. Do you want to hand me those sunglasses actually, John? But uh, yeah, all in all, really nice workout. Got it in, really happy about the squats. It's been awesome, you know, training these past eight weeks, getting stronger, and you guys have seen that. It's, uh, it's not amazing progress or, you know, nothing like holy shit, but man, it's never gonna be incredibly fast, you know, progress. Again, I'm, I'm natural. Like I take what I can get. I just add a little bit of weight or a little bit of reps, workout to workout, week to week. And it's just, man, doing the same workout. I, I did the same workout for the first four weeks of this program. And then I did the same workout for the second four weeks of this program. So my, my workout will change next week. I'm not even sure. Australian strength coach Sebastian Orb, he has not released like the third and final phase of this program, but I'm assuming it's gonna be something kind of similar. You know, the first phase I did three sets of five, back squats the second phase three sets of three and I assume it's he's probably going to continue climbing weight so I would not at all be surprised if the next four weeks is going to be three sets of one you know just three heavy singles each workout you know slowly building up that that would be a pretty natural progression I'm kind of that's my prediction done a lot of programs written a lot of programs myself taken programs from other coaches and that would be a pretty logical progression to go for the final four weeks. And yeah, you'd be kind of not peaking, but in essence, you kind of would be peaking, I suppose. If you went to three sets of one, you know, for four more consecutive weeks and just continued to add whatever, two and a half to five kgs every week. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I didn't talk a lot during today's uh, training session. I just, I didn't have a lot to say. I was just kind of really focused and dialed in on the workout that I was doing. I hope you guys still got some value out of it. I hope you guys are getting value out of these vlogs and just seeing week to week, you know, like slow but gradual progress. And that's how to get stronger as an addy. I'll see you guys tomorrow.